What's going on guys? Clutch here. We're checking out a new mod map in Farming Simulator 19. Mill Landscape Midland. It's a new mod map available in the mod hub for everybody. Everyone's got access to this map. Console, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, everybody can look at this map. Uh, just dropped today. So let's uh, go take a quick look around, shall we? Let's pitter powder. Clutch Simulations. All right, guys, so this is a European-based map. Uh, it's got more of the medium, maybe more of the smaller style fields uh, that you'd be accustomed to in Europe. Let me just pull in here. I'm obviously playing uh, new farmer mode just so I can show you guys what the farm is that you'd start off with. And you're going to find that there's a lot of towns kind of just scattered around the map. It's kind of cool. Now, this here is our entrance. You can see I got some skid marks in to try and make sure I knew where I was going in here. All right, so this is the entrance to our farmyard area. For new farmer mode at least. Uh, let's see, I'll just go and pull off to the side right here where I've put that. Excellent. All right, so uh, as you can see, we've started with some of the base game assets uh, from Felsbrunn. Same with the house. It's uh, very similar, no changes there. House is exactly the same as you'd expect it. And you've got a garage asset, of course, over here that uh, is similar as well. Actually, I don't think there wasn't a pass-through door, was there? I can't remember anymore. Anyways, um, yeah, so that there is the uh, the main farmhouse area. Of course, you've got some garage space here as well on either side. You start off with a case, uh, a couple of implements. On the back side, I think we have a fent. Is that the fent? I believe it's the fent. Yeah, the fent. Perfect, so you got a fent tractor. And then over here, this here is our cattle area. Do these open? I don't think they open, do they? No. Um, we can go in right here, though. There we go. So this is our cattle area. This is the, kind of the only building that uh, is a little bit different than any of the base game stuff, but I thought it was kind of an interesting cattle pasture. A small pasture in the back here. And then uh, the interior of the, uh, the barn area right here is kind of nice as well. But this is a little bit of different. Everything else you can kind of just get rid of and replace as you see fit. You can see we start with a new Holland over there in the corner as well, a new farmer. Uh, and then in the back, you've got, well, a hay barn. And then a couple more implements here back in this back little shop area. But the rest of this area, I mean, you could use it or you could change it up to whatever you see fit. Uh, you got a couple bunkers over here. Ooh. And then on the far side, you got a chicken coop. Perfect. Uh, as for fields, I believe we start with two. I think the one just behind that barn there, there's a, there's a field. I think this one right here, this grass pasture, is ours as well. I'll bring the map up so we can take a quick look. So you can see field, yeah, field 9 and field 7, 70, sorry. Uh, so 70 is this grass pasture, and field 9 is the one that was just in behind. Because if you can take a look at it for size, give you an idea how big it is. But they're relatively small in the grand scheme of things. There's a lot of fields on this map, as you can see from the, uh, the mini-map there. There's quite a few fields. Oh, train! There you go. So this is field 9. And you can see this is kind of the skinny part right here of 9. Be a couple passes, not a lot. And I'll show you the bigger side up here. We'll just get past that to take a closer look. And this here, you should be able to see the thicker side of it. There we go. So this is the thicker side of 9 right there. So it's, it's a decent size field, but uh, for that little New Holland Harvester, you wouldn't need anything much bigger than that anyways for these two fields. As you can see, there's not a lot of big fields. 57 is the standout, I guess, which is, I think, just over top of these ones here. You can kind of see probably the edge of it over there. But it's by far the biggest one on the map. Um, other standouts on the map, well, the river that runs right through it is pretty a, not a pretty noticeable side of it. But you can see there's quite a bit, few little towns that are just scattered around. I think there's four or five different small town areas to the map itself. And a lot of detail put in from these windmills. You can see there's an older windmill to the newer one that's, well, right there. But uh, lots of little details throughout the map. Let's see here. So we'll take a, a quick tour. I'll go into, uh, into construction mode and we'll just take a quick tour of the map in some of the areas. There's been, like I said, a lot of detail put even to some of the dirt paths. Is there one here? I think there's one right here that goes. Uh, you can't quite see anything here. But uh, just from barbed wire fences to various, I don't know if these are manhole drains or it's just what exactly is in these usually. But uh, yeah, some, and a lot of the fields will have these, so you'll have to kind of dodge them depending on where they're placed. A very good looking map from here. Anyways, let's take a quick look in construction mode here. All right, so this here is the main town we're looking at right here. 
And this here is our farm, as you can see. My mouse out of the way there. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is the main farm area. Give you a better overview of the of the lands you own. You got the grass up to the top, and here's the field down below. So I'm going to head down uh, straight down this way here, and you can see this here is the large field. I believe this one was 57. So this here is the biggest field in in the map. It's a decent sized field for sure. Uh, you need some bigger equipment for this field. As we move past here, uh, we do have a couple cell points. Uh, you've got a, is that sheep? I believe that's a sheep pasture right here. Yeah, it is too. So you've got a small pasture right there, uh, as well as a bunch of cell points in the back over here as well. So you've got a cell point over here, and as well a cell point down in this section right here, you can see. Uh, looks like there's a number of other areas right back in here as well. Interesting. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, they're purchase points, that's right. So that was one of the other keys to this is uh, seed, fertilizer, and herbicide can be purchased at various points throughout the map. So there's more than one location for that, which is kind of a nice little add-on. All right, so that's the, the bottom corner. So you can see right now we are in the bottom or the top right-hand corner of the map. Uh, nothing past this, obviously, uh, and nothing over this direction here. It looks like the map could potentially go there, which they have not done any development on that area. But look at how big you could actually go out here. But this is the end of the map for that. Uh, I should also mention what well, well, yeah, also mentioned while we're over here that there is a train that goes through here. You cannot select it. You cannot drive it. It's a one-way path. Uh, you can see here that actually the train comes right now. It's a bit of a different looking train. It's only two cars on this particular one. There it goes. So it just goes through. You can't select it. It's uh, it's decoration only. All right, so moving along, we're gonna go all the way up to the top here, up to the harbor. So now we're gonna see this river is uh, kind of one of the focal points of the map, at least for me. You see these long cargo ships here that kind of go up and down the canal. There it goes right there, there's one right there. So you can see, you're gonna find this be another one a little bit further down. If I scroll up, I'm sure we'll see it. There it is, you can see it kind of just meandering through the canal. Uh, it kind of neat to see, actually. So you have a, these every once in a while be passing through. We've got a bunch of bridge decks such as this as well going over top of the canal. We'll keep on scrolling around. You can see there's a ton of little fields here. Uh, I'm sure you could join more of these up and make it into a larger field if you like. Another town site and another placeables area right in here, essentially built for making another farm if you so desire. And look at that. It's even got a house already sitting there ready to go. Interesting. Um, once again, yeah, like I said, another town site with cell points. And we'll scrooch on over here to the sawmill. The sawmill's right in here. And then you've got a forested area just past that. So that's kind of a convenience place with uh, some nice little dirt track that kind of goes into it. It's right on the river there. I would hate to roll into that. <laughs> I'm sure it's really deep. Uh, let's see if I can get back through the woods here. Oof, too deep. There we go. So there are a few tracks and trails that run through the woods, as you can kind of see. Is that a pond in the middle there? What did I see there? even noticed that before I can't tell I don't think it was anyways oh there's some rocks that's what it was seeing interesting oh there is a bit of a like a water effect in there as well interesting so there's a bit of a puddle or a lake effect inside interesting huh interesting okay anyway so that's the forested area for you loggers out there there is a little bit of logging to be done for sure you can see on my mini map this here whole area is uh, logs and then as well if we scooch back on up just north of that you're going to find another area that is a good size as well that has a trail that runs through it that can be used oh, a little outhouse down in the corner here <laughs> that could be used for logging as well so there is still quite a bit of area for logging if you guys desire to do that all right, so let's move on down a little bit further. Like I said, you've got Sawmill, uh, the small town on the far side. This road is the one that connects directly to where our farm is. You can see the, the windmill in the distance there. So that'll connect to us. And if we scrooch on down, you're going to find that more fields, of course, but you'll find another placeables area down in the bottom corner here. Another windmill and another uh, flat open area to put a farm if you would like. So not a bad option as a multiplayer farm. Once again, they've kind of thought that through. You can see we've got a house here as well but you got a couple different houses you got a couple different flat areas the fields are all somewhat equal in that sense and every farm does have an animal pasture already ready to rock so not a bad idea for a multiplayer farm 
And this is where we kind of started off the video across the canal once again. Uh, another small little town area with some uh, sell points. Let's see, buy and sell points actually, because you can see we've got, we have seed at this one? I don't know if we do. Not seeing any seed here that might be here, but I'm not seeing any. I know it's in very loca various locations. You can see we've got a sell point obviously, but is there a purchase point as well? I don't know. Oh yeah, right here, there you go. Purchase point right at the map. That's very cool. And it looks like down here we also have another farm point. You've got uh, another pasture as well as a farmhouse. I didn't even know this one was down here. That's great, fantastic. And last of all, if we scroll back up, this was kind of an interesting point to me. Uh, so we've got our tracks that are kind of following us up on the right. We've got a sell point right here. Now this sell point, so our farm is kind of right there where you can see the windmill off in the distance there once again. Actually, is this another? No, oh, that's the BGA. Um, anyways, <laughs> sorry, squirrel. Uh, this is a sell point, of course, and well, you can see we could purchase stuff here in this little corner as well. But to access this particular sell point is very interesting since you have to get across these tracks. Now, the only other place to get across the tracks is, wait for it, way up here. So you have to get across the tracks right here. This is the only entrance. This is the vehicle shop right here. This is your purchase point for vehicles. And then you have a sell point, uh, an agro center, basically an agro center sell point and purchase point. But to get to that other far um, silo, you have to take this road all the way back in, keep on going, and then around this particular building over here and back across the tracks. It's quite a ways to get to this particular sell point. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. And then it wraps back around, as you can see, back across the tracks and uh, allows you to loop back out again. Very interesting indeed. I like that. That's cool. Uh, you have to kind of think of how to get there because there's no other way to cross these tracks, well, legally. So very difficult to get into that area. Anyways, uh, that's really it for the map tour. Let's take a quick look at some prices on some fields just out of uh, sheer curiosity here. We'll zoom back on over to our farmland. Uh, so you can see here, we'll take a look at this small field right next door to us, so field 12. So that one there, you look at $77,000, so that's not too bad actually. And if we go, oh, you can purchase the whole outside scope for 15 million if you'd like as well. Interesting. So if you're looking for, uh, wow, that is interesting. So all these lands that are not covered in anything else, you could purchase those, the town sites as well. That's interesting. All right. Uh, forestry, 67, 500,000 for the larger forestry area. Uh, the biggest field in the game, 57, 700,000. Interesting. Okay. So you're looking, uh, they're relatively cheap in the grand scheme of things uh, as far as fields go, so uh, that's not a bad option. Anyways guys, I'm pretty impressed with this map. It has a ton of detail. Uh, if you like the smaller fields or a multiplayer map, this might be a, a great map to give a shot to. Anyways, you'll find it in the Mod Hub. It's available for everyone, like I said before, PC and console. Everyone has access to this map, so go take a look at the Mod Hub. You'll be able to find it there. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Out.